Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divinity Original Sin. Uh, where we left off last time, I went back to town just to go uh, sell some junk and all that stuff. Although it would appear that I forgot to repair her bow. But that's good, we have a spare one lying around, which is exactly the same. In fact, we'll give it to her right now. That's a good one, right? Yep, perfect. Uh, then we came back up here. We did gain a level, so we got perception, so we can actually see this hidden mound. And we're gonna dig it up right now. We get some sweet treasure out of it, which is a one-handed dagger that is unidentified. We will identify that. We got a tooth and a jeweler's kit ring. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the dagger, of course, because it's probably gonna be good for our rogue. Who desperately needs a new dagger. Although it has willpower, so that's not super great, but whatever. I'm pretty sure it's better than hers. Yes. Yes, it is. Because it takes less action points to use. So she can attack more with it. Also, we have people to talk to. That shovel has proven its worth and weight, er, yeah, proven worth its weight, it seems. Indeed, and who knows what manner of riches will unearth together with this tried and true treasure digger. And have to finish this mission with a long vacation in the tropics, gazing side by her side at a burgundy horizon if we're lucky. That sounds really bright, I like that. That sounds peaceful and awesome, actually. So we got our treasure, we're gonna quick save. And we're going to continue towards the lighthouse, which I forgot you can't clip on the map because it ends up just trying to make a waypoint for you. Not exactly what we were looking for. Anything on this corpse? Nope. Anything on this skeleton? Nope. How about this corpse? Nope. Skeleton? Nope. Alright. Moving on then. Towards the lighthouse. I saw something. Maybe not. That's where those two legionnaires are chillaxing like cowards. Oh, somebody's hurt. Uh, let's heal. Ew. It's always good to go into combat fully healed. Just in case. All right, so let's save. I'm not going any closer. Who's not going any closer? Everyone's going closer. Looks the further we go, the more bodies we find heaped around. We must be closing in on where they were headed. So there's a barricade here. I'm guessing it didn't help over much against whatever killed all these people. But we're gonna take all of their teeth and bones. I'm sure they're useful for something. I have no idea what, but something. Alright, so we've reached the tower. Uh, you detached from the group. You're pretty decent at sneaking, so let's go take a look around with her. <laughs> Okay, that's the ghoul that guards the lighthouse, level 5. And we found some lupine horrors, which are wet and level 4. And that is an oil barrel. So if we can... Get some oil going. Alright. Now we can get into combat. You. Shoot with something. I don't care which one. Just shoot. Oh, it's invisible. Just blindly shoot in this direction, then I don't care. You re I can actually shoot in whatever direction except at things. Uh, can't aim there. There we go. Oh, I missed. I'm moving her up as well. Okay. Apparently she's... What is that? It's my turn. Alright. I'm gonna move you up. Still in rock form. Okay, come out of rock form, seriously. It's not helping. In turn. Um... Let's ricochet off of that dog there. Still can't see it, eh? Right? Off this one. I have no idea what I just killed. But we got a whole bunch of experience for blowing something up. I'm gonna count that as a win. That's pretty awesome. Move her back a bit. 
Uh, he's just gonna defend for now. He is going to lightning bolt uh, that dog. Stun failed, no damage. Excellent. Off to a good start. Ow. Stop that. The dogs can run really far and still attack. Ow. Alright. Can we move around behind the dog? We should be able to. Backstab. And we should be able to kill this dog in one round, hopefully. Not quite, but very close. So let's see if we can... Of course not. She needs a new bow. Something fierce. Alright, let's get some melee power stats. If I use Whirlwind, will it hit everything? Probably, I guess. Let's try it out. That worked pretty good. And there goes a the dog. Can't do that one. Oh, that dog's chilled and frozen. That's awesome. Am I going to stun my person if I do this? Probably. Let's use that. Well, I stunned it. I didn't actually... I meant to switch skills, but that's okay. What do you mean, rise from your grave? Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Chilled and not a huge concern. Did I shoot my own dude? I think I might have. Whoops. And can you shoot again? Yes. Shoot him. Yeah, that didn't work too well. Okay. So we have this dog. Down dead. He died in one hit. Go here. How did you get blown up? Oh well, heal. Healing is what we're gonna do on that guy. I think the dog blew up though. Oh no, it's still alive. No, don't shoot her. Okay. No, stop bringing things back to life. How does it get a turn? Oh, it doesn't. Let's see if we can get behind it. Backstab, super important. It's not dead, though. It's not even close to dead, though. Let's move back. Alright, you're healing, sort of. There's so much poison and burning stuff around. I can't even tell where the burning stuff is at this point. Nope, no, it's definitely the burning stuff. It doesn't look like there's anything burning there, though. Alright, well, let's try this fight again. We'll do this better. It's really hard to tell where the bad things are in this map, though. Or in this game, sometimes. Alright. We don't need sneak. There we go, everything's on fire, mostly. I'm actually gonna wait. I guess these are all invisible for that one. Shoot that one. I have no idea if that is or not. We're gonna go with maybe. And hold position. We're gonna move up three. And magic miss 
little thing. Can't reach, can I? Nope. Alright, uh. Just like the then. That's gonna hurt. Or not. a long way. Oh, there's undead archers that we didn't know about before. That didn't blow up this time. There we go. Okay, one dead. At least temporarily. You hit this one too? Ah, uh, no. None of action points, so that's fine. She actually did good damage for once. I am baffled by that. Can I charge you? No, move forward. Uh, how much does this take? Six. So he has tons, so he can move up a bit. Knockdown failed. That is bullshit. Then you miss. Well, you might as well advance. Okay, you have a full life, pretty much, Lupin. But if you move, you're going to get hit. Or well, you can teleport yourself. Or you can't teleport yourself, you can teleport other things. Right? Not her. That one. Yep. Throw it uh, in the fire. Really. Can I throw it in the fire? No. It has to be in sight. Works pretty good. And then we can use Staff of the Tempest on this archer. Now the dog has to run back and attack me apparently. No, whatever you're doing, stop it. No, oh, okay, whatever. Ow. Well, that was unfortunate. How did we blow up those guys last time? Oh, there's an explody skeleton there. Oh, then there's a boost barrel and stuff. Okay. Let's try that again. I think we can do that better. And we're actually losing, so. Combat is kind of unforgiving in this game a little bit. A lot of bit, actually. All right. We will keep you stealth. We're going to make you come over here a little bit. Just so I can see what's going on. And then Archer, you're also not a tet- No, stop that. There we go. Let's get the oil. That's not exactly what I meant to do. But we instantly killed a dog. Well, that was kind of nice. But most of our group is way the hell back. And I think that's what we're gonna do is pull back. Make them come to us. Can I shoot anything over here? No. Shoot that guy. No, I can't. He's invisible. Alright, now pull back. Alright, and let's see who comes and fights us. See so if we can face these things one at a time, or close to one at a time. That would make it really easy.
If I can blast these with lightning and stun all three of them, that'd be fantastic. That's my goal. Um, let's go behind the dog. Move the camera so I can actually hit it. Come on. There we go. I know it's frozen, so that's kind of counterproductive a little bit. So these three are bunched together. Let's ricochet on them. What did I even hit? Did I hit the dog? I must hit the dog. Let's see if we can finish off the dog. Maybe not. Close. There we go. Goodbye, dog. And we'll move up a tiny bit. We need this lightning bolt to hit really well. Oh, he stunned an archer. That's a positive. We didn't stun any of the other things, though. Um, let's teleport. I can't teleport the archer. Okay, well, let's not do that. Let's move forward one action point. My god, you're slow. Now can I teleport this archer? I can. Let's put him right over here. Now we can just beat the crap out of him when he shows up. Or when he's... This is gonna hurt though a little bit. What just came back to life? Nothing? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Undead Leapin' Horror. Okay. Uh, that's burning, so I don't want to go behind that one. Let's go behind this one, though. Kill that one off. Move behind the archer. Can't do anything this turn. Get out of the fire. Shoot the nothing, because you have no action points left. Also move out of the fire. Miss the wolf entirely. Good. Excellent job. that archer, stun that thing up. Now we have another guy doing something special. Burning failed, but that's... Wow, that hurt. Really need to kill him, but I can't get to him because of his, all his allies are around. Okay, now I need you to run towards this archer as fast as possible. You're still on fire, but you got lots of life left. It. Need you to get out of the fire. Need you to get out of the fire. I need you to heal him. Everyone's in pretty decent health now. Until whatever this is. Oh damn. Don't die. Please don't die. Okay, let's get behind this guy. And... Good attack. Really? That's exactly what we needed. We needed to miss all of our attacks. Which one has more... I guess we just roll one. I think our guy is going to die no matter what. Unless we teleport something away, but we can't. So we have... Are any of these guys wet? No, they're burning. They're both almost dead. And I have six action points. Stun my guy, but the burn hopefully, hopefully will kill all those guys before. 
Yes. Okay, good. Ooh. All right. So I think our main character will survive. It needs to be healed, though, really badly. You need to actually backstab. There we go. Can't heal again, but he's still stunned. I want to stay in range so that I can heal him. But I need to move him up so that he can start taking on the, uh, that thing, whatever that is. Go back around, back stab. Okay, there we go. Things are starting to look up for us. Go this way. And then go all the way down this way. Good. Heal him. Really, really needs it. He'll thank you once he gets off stuff. There we go. Ah, good, our character's back up and running. He's poisoned, but that'll have to be okay for now. Can you shoot him yet? He's still invisible. On the bright side, he has no one to resurrect because we killed all of his people. I lied, there's a dog there. Break. Oh, now sneaking fails. Uh, you got some life still, though. You're good for now. Can I, can I shoot the dog? Yes. Stun failed, but that's gonna be okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I forgot all about that thing. Uh, run away, everybody. That's gonna be your turn this time. Uh, you're gonna end turn. Everyone runs away. Except for you. How far can you get before you have to use your... You have no movement, good god. Alright. So the splody guy's right there. We move you here, out of the way, and turn there. Done. Alright. It's not so bad. Alright, we're okay. We're okay, everybody. And you can move forward too, why not? We're getting tons of experience for this fight, though. Pretty happy about that. Now, now we can start getting lined up to go fight this guy, who is actually mostly dead. Holy crap, though, that sucked. Uh, don't go through the poison or the fire. can heal someone else. Let's get him to heal you. So I think she's going to be the first into the fray. He's still standing in the fire though. I don't understand his reasoning for that, but whatever. I'm not going to uh, complain about it. It's helping me out. He's just burning to death. Can you see him yet? Oh, good. He is creepy looking, though. I'll definitely give him that. And that's it. Fight completed. Damn, that was actually really rough.
Let's put out the fire. Once we put out the fire, we'll gather the loot. I'm sure there's a whole bunch, actually. There's a unidentified, outdated, double-headed weapon. Double-headed axe, I should say. Male armor. Male armor. A clobbering time, which is a weapon of some sort. Uh, do we have a fire spell anywhere? Or... Oh no, it went away. Okay, good. So Jehan has all these weapons. We found an eye and a bone. And some animal hide and some hair. And some, of course, some intestines. Very important. Who are the people that aren't tied together? Let's do that. That way we won't screw up too badly. And eventually we'll go through all of our stuff. There's a way to do crafting in this game, but I don't know how yet. I'll figure that out at some point in time between videos. That fight took us like the entire episode, because that was a really rough fight, actually. There's a book on there, too. Oh man, some sweet money. That's an ooze barrel. And something else. I really want to see what these new weapons are, though, to be honest. Like, we got clobbering time, male armor, which is Loremaster 1, which means that she can identify it, and she can identify that necklace. Clobbering time is sort of a unique weapon, and it's actually really, really nice. Your skills, what are they again? Two-handed, right. Okay. But you're also armor specialist, which is nice, too. I'm going to give him more strength. He is our BB frontline strengther. That looks good. And we have one available skill, which we're not going to use on anything, because I'm going to use it on two-handed next, I think. So he's done for now. She also gained a level. And she's going to take another dexterity, because she's good at that. And she's our charisma person? No, he's our charisma person. I don't know why she has a charisma. Nasty deeds is what we want her to do. Or possibly daggers or whatever it is. Daggers are part of one-headed weapons. Although she doesn't... Oh, she needs a dagger to backstab. That's right. That's what willpower do. Oh, saving throws against stuff. Okay. Interesting. She's also a scoundrel. I'll ponder using more scoundrel skills. We need better uh, lockpicking, though, eventually here. So, everyone gather up. We're all chained up now. Let's go. Let's see what these weapons are. Or at least this necklace and this armor. So this is Intelligence, Initiative, and Lore Master. Which is a bizarre combination because Intelligence is awesome for him. Sucks for her. But she has Lore Master. Right? She has Lore Master, I think. Yeah. So we could give it to her to Lore Master things and then give it to... Um, uh, him for the rest of the time. What else do we need to identify in here? There we go. Now that we have Lore Master 2, let's get all of this stuff done. Do you think crossbows count as bows for the purpose of weapons? No, they do not. Bows and crossbows are very different, apparently. So speed, fire resistance, and... Uh, armor rating. It's going to go to him. He's the only one that can use it, I think. Maybe. What's the uh, strength requirement? Seven? Yes. He's the only one that can use it in the group. So, let's throw that on him. Which means he loses his plate armor. But I think that's okay. Anyone else have strength eight? Negative. Oh, right. I didn't actually apply her thing. Let's go dexterity ten. Yes. Okay. Now she can use this to its full effect, and I think it might be better than what she has. I think it might be better than her... It's definitely better than her, um, dagger. Can she do a wield? No. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. We have a crossbow that does amazing damage. But it's also level 8, and requires 10 dexterity, so maybe not so much. Perception! She is using that, because we need her to perceive. 
Uh, armor 4 versus armor 6. What are you using? Armor 4 with poison resistance versus armor 4 with water and poison resistance. Why not? What happens if I use armor that I'm not good at? Oh, I just can't. Okay. Um, and then what else do we get? We got a bartering. We'll give that to our main character, who is our talker. Move some other junk. Old shortbow, I think, is better than, um... Or dusty shortbow. Fly quite a lot. Yes. And we have telekinesis, which nobody has. And movement, which... I guess it's good for our rogue, so we'll use it on her for now. Or do you tell pieces now that I think about it? No, you don't. Okay. Alright then. Now what else do we have? We have a one-handed axe, which needs to go to her. And then some more old male armor. Wrong person. I gave those both to the wrong person. She is not the lore master. Let's see what else we got. We got dexterity and... Fire resistance, I should have gave her, no, it wouldn't matter. And if one-handed axe is... Speed plus one. Decent axe, though. Two head is worthless for our characters, and... Oh, we have an amulet here, we haven't done yet. Water resistance plus 15, not super amazing. Give it to, I don't know, her. We will eventually go through and sell this junk. I ran out of people in town that had money to sell things to. There we go. Alright. Quick save. In the next video, we're going to be heading into the lighthouse. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.